So today, I going to it. I'm gonna try to make the world's cheapest sluice pipe out of these 55 gallon drums. So we're gonna see how it goes. Saws on it gets extremely hot. This thing is literally smoking. <laughs> well, that's no good. I wonder if there's a warranty on these. This thing is literally burning up. I'm cutting through tin. Amazing. Well, I'm not getting too much done until I get that figured out. I don't really want to cut this with a grinder considering it had motor oil in it. Huh. Guess we're gonna have to take two at this. Yeah, that's how it's shot. Well, I borrowed the neighbor's sawzall to finish this barrel, and she was full of oil, so... We are, uh, getting all that burn out. And, uh, then we'll let it cool, and we'll cut the bottom out. And we got one more barrel to clean up. All right. So I got the tops cut off. Um, I had to finish it off with the neighbor's saws also. I'm going to cut the bottoms off with the grinder. It, it'll be just as fast. And that way I ain't got to bother the neighbor at all.
Well, I got two of them opened up. Let's see how it goes uh, trying to weld them together. Well, it's not the prettiest weld you'll ever see, but I think she'll ride for what she's going to be used for anyway. Now I got a nice little pipe. This nice little pipe here that's rolling away. We continued on the rest of them. Alrighty, so from here, what you could do, just an idea for, you know, I'm not going to do it, but, you know, theoretically, as many of these barrels as you had, you could just keep going and weld them all together, but I think I'm going to do six foot, so two barrels, and I'm going to do them too wide, that way it can take the most water and in case one gets plugged up then the other one's still open or vice versa and I have other ideas for cheap sluice pipes which we will get to shortly but um, this is basically the idea I mean you don't have to do it exactly the way I did it 
Um, I used the torches because my sawzall started smoking, as you've seen in the beginning of the video. But, you know, you could do this with pretty much any cutting tool, even if you were had a hacksaw and you wanted to do that, then you can do that. I mean, you know, you probably want to have a welder is probably a pretty good idea for this. Um, I use a stick welder, and I honestly think that the Harbor Freight, like $100 welder, whatever, Chicago Electric would have worked just as good, if not better, than stick welding because it's kind of thin stuff. But I mean, those edges are kind of thick, but I was burning right through it pretty good. And I mean, as you can see, I kind of had to rush through my funnel. But um, yeah, so now we're gonna put them in the ground, I think and uh then we'll see how they do on the test of time and then i will show you the new sluice idea that i have as well that uh is probably a little bit more expensive than this on a normal day but can be just as cheap so all right so i made the last video well one of the previous videos i put a i leveled this spot out here um i think i want to make the sluice come across right here that way you can get up the hill there without having to cross a giant ditch i mean we have other places to cross we built a bridge up there but i think this idea would be cool and i kind of wanted to try it out so I need to make this about four feet wide and depth wise we're probably pretty damn good so I'm gonna leave it depth leave it at the same depth and then I'm gonna go ahead and make it four feet wide so we can fit them two pipes in and then we'll get the pipes put in and I think it'll be cool and we'll kind of give her a little test run straps these orange ones have severely decreased in quality over the last like two years I used to use nothing but these to put my tree stands up with and now I don't even feel comfortable doing it because they're such garbage I, do, I bought these like a couple month or two ago and I, I would recommend them anymore unless you're just doing light light duty stuff with them And no, it looks good. It's not gonna <laughs> fly apart like it always does. We'll even check the cooling up here this time. When I first got this machine, it was overheating every time I went to use it, unless it was real cold outside. Yep, that's good. Well, what happened was a lot of times I was, you know, I, I was reading online these fins plug up. Well. In my case, it was inside it was plugged up. I mentioned in the last video, I don't know if I did or not, this machine has sat a lot over its lifespan and 
I don't know if they use crappy coolant or if that's just normal, but it just corroded like crazy in there. And I got a mess in here. And it plugged up and I couldn't figure out why it kept overheating until I pulled the radiator out and then I had to have it record. gonna work good. I gotta clump the dirt in my boot. <laughs> yeah. Just hope it takes all the water that gets thrown at it, that's all. <clears throat> and that is another successful video. So, I'll have another video on world's cheapest sluice pipes coming up soon once I get that one going, but uh, as far as this one goes, it's going to serve its purpose, I think. I think it's going to work out nice. So, stay tuned. <laughs>